Hey guys, Guardian here with another deck profile for Nubatama. Um, I've upped the starting unit count to two, mainly just because it's to help counter decks like Narukami, Link Joker, and Kagura that can get rid of one. So I play a second one just to get another one out there, really easy and nice effect to have. Triggers, I play the standard four heal, four stand because we have to go rainbow. 4 draw and 4 crit as I said with the we have to go rainbow they're all basic 5k's except for the stand which it has the go into the fact go into the soul give 3000 to a unit effect grade ones I play 2 stealth dragon dreadmaster counter blast 1 when it boosts a hit anywhere and then your opponent has to discard a card if you have less cards in your hand than they do Four perfect guards, basic staple for most decks, especially in this one. Four Tempest Stealth Rogue Fuki. Counterblast one if your opponent has three or more cards in their hand, and then you get to choose one at random and bind it face down. Now you can combo that with her effect to destroy it at the end of a battle that your Vanguard hits. But, um,. I know the card text says that it has to be three or less, but Bushy Road errated it to where it had to where it's three or more. And one of my friends at the tournaments that I go to notified me of that, and I was extremely happy to hear that because otherwise that card would be really hard to use. And anyway, I also play two eight Ks, Stealth Rogue of the Night, Sakura Fubuki. Most people say you gotta play four, but in this deck you want to play two. That way you got enough room for the other stuff. Grade twos, I got four of the 10k Stealth Rogue of a Thousand Blades Oberozakura. Pretty standard. Four Stealth Dragon Kokugio. Apt him to three mainly because. Um, you really want to have him on rear guard as much as possible. His effect is too good to pass up for anything, especially in this deck. And for Stealth Beast Tamahagane, when he's played on Vanguard or rear guard, you just bind a card that is on the field, any rear guard. Pretty good. You can combo that with this guy to get give him plus two if if he's on your Vanguard or rear guard. And uh, you can also combo this guy with Fuki to give him another plus two off of that. Because his effect is whenever a card is bound, period, from the hand or field, he gains plus two. So you can potentially get that to really insane numbers by himself. Grade threes, I play four of the Break Ride, one of which is SP. Got a really cool diamond foiling. Uh, Shura Stealth Dragon Kujikiri Kango. He's an 11k. When your opponent has three or less cards in their hand, he becomes a 13 when he swings. And when he is broke ridden, I don't know how that's a break ridden, broke road, broke ridden, anything. He gives plus 10,000 power to your Vanguard, and then your opponent has to bind a card from their hand face down and discard a card. Both their choice. Two, Shura Stealth Dragon Kabuki Kongo. Now, I only play two of this guy because apparently I'm supposed to play two of this next card in the deck in order for it to be at its maximum potential. And if it's not this guy, who could it be? Well, it's gotta be this guy. This guy. I hate this guy so much because of the chance that you gotta ride him, but he's a decent rear guard at 9 grade 3, and apparently having double Dreadmaster effect is extremely good, so yeah, Voidmaster. I hate it. I 
hate it, hate it, hate it. I hate it more than Dusk hates Conroe. Just to give you a th little description of that, you don't deserve to be on top, Dreadmaster. You're gross. But, uh, yeah. That's Nubatama Rising 2.0. And I will see you guys next time.